Hola, good morning, buenos dias. How are you, cuties? Um, I'm just here with my happy planner, setting up my calendar view for my academic section, and I was, you know, starting that up, and I felt like, why not film it and take you along with me on the journey? Because I don't really tend to film my monthly calendar setups or my monthly overview setups as well so i thought it'd be a fun change of pace to film a calendar setup and a monthly overview and just to like share the process that i undertake to achieve those setups so if you're interested in seeing how i set up my calendar view and my monthly overview in my happy planner just keep on watching So I'm in my mega happy planner here, my happy planner solar system, and this section is my academic section for graduate school. So it's basically my full-time job, and it's the most important section in my happy planner because, yeah, it's my full-time job. But this was my spread for last week. Um, I use an undated vertical Mickey Mouse planner and so that's what she looks like when she's not filled in i love this planner so much but i am setting up the monthly calendar view for the month of december it's currently saturday the fourth so i'm a couple of days um after the first <laughs> but that's okay we're still in the first week so as long as i set it up this week i still feel like i'm on top of shit. so how i set up my calendar view the first thing i do um, is dated because I do have an undated um, calendar and so I just have these date stickers from one of these uh, Parkcraft Smith sticker books. I just date the calendar um, and these planners always come with like monthly stickers so I use those to you know add the December there at the top and then after I date it I go back to my yearly calendar view so that is this guy here at the front and I have my bookmark here too um, just so I can easily flip to it but <clears throat> throughout the year I go ahead and use this calendar to kind of make note of things that are going to happen you know in the future and because I only carry one month at a time for each planner in my planner at you know at any given time because I have so many planner sections it helps to have this yearly calendar um, in the beginning because that way I can write down everything that's going to happen without carrying all the other pages for um, for future months. So I check out what's going on here in my yearly overview, and then I transfer all of the um, all the relevant information into my December monthly calendar view, and I also transfer them um here to this section right here just so i can be certain of what's going on in this month here and actually there's not too much going on here already there's a couple of things that um that that i do want to make a note of like on the third instruction ended so i am on the quarter system and so classes and uh, instruction is what they call it. Instruction ended. <clears throat> Let me pull for a sticker here. I'll use this thin sticker here. I'll put that here at the top. Um, instruction ends. Instruction... I ran out of room. Instruction ends. Cool. So that happened on Friday. And then what else is going on? Fall quarter ends on the 11th. So let me grab one of my paper mates. that I have going on. Fall quarter ends. Um, the 17th I have a deadline. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
So we have winter registration and deadline on the 17th. I want to make a note of that. And then we also have break on the 23rd and the 24th. Those days are off. We're off those days. So let me put a little bit of washi tape to kind of mark that. So undergraduates at UC San Diego tend to have about three weeks off for the winter break. Usually they'll take from the last day of the fall quarter, so from like the 12th to the beginning of the spring quarter, which is, or the winter quarter, which is about January 3rd, I think. But they tend to have about three weeks break, which is really nice. However, graduate students don't really have that because um, technically, I suppose we do, but usually grad students because we're so busy with like teaching obligations during the quarter itself we tend to take those weeks of like after after the quarter ends and before the new quarter begins we tend to take those weeks to finally get some much needed uh, research work done and I know for sure that I definitely work up until probably the 20th like I will continue to do my work um, till the 20th I find that this week is really a productive time for me because I don't have like the academic obligations um, that I need to do it's just I can just focus on my own research so I'll work maybe till the 20th, the 21st, and then I'll probably take like the 22nd through the 29th off around there, even a little bit more. I might even take like a week and a half, depending on how much I've gotten done, how much I feel like I need to relax. So anywhere from like the 21st, 22nd through the 31st, I'll take off. And um, staff though, like staff who work at UC San Diego, they only have the 23rd and the 24th off. So so I think that's all I need to add um, for this particular month. As the month goes on, I'll continue to add things. And I like also adding like important events that happen um, in terms of work on this calendar, just kind of to like make a note of things and remember, you know, important momentous occasions. And then I think I might pull for some uh, like Christmas stickers here um, just to like kind of jazz up this monthly calendar view. So I have my collection of, of, um, of winter stickers here and let's see, maybe I'll put this one here. It's so cute. And then I have these stickers, Christmas Eve, Christmas. So I'm gonna put the Christmas sticker here.
just because I felt like there was some empty space there. Awesome. So that is my monthly calendar view. It's pretty simple. I always feel like I don't have a lot going on on the page when I do my monthly calendars because I tend to fill them up as well as the month progresses. So, so the next thing that I want to do is my monthly overview. So my monthly overview, again, this is undated. So I'm going to have to add like, uh, the month of December up there. Let me see if I can find um, a December sticker that will fit. Here we go. These are perfect. So I'll just grab this December sticker and put that up here at the top, just like that. How I like using my monthly overview section. So again, this is for my academic section. So I do like to use this monthly overview to kind of set up some monthly goals for myself to complete by the end of the month. And this really helps me, motivates me, kind of makes me regroup, reassess where I am and what I need to accomplish and um, helps me to make progress towards finishing my dissertation and graduating graduate school. So how I like setting up this monthly overview is I'll write some large big ticket goal items here in this grid dot section here. And then I'll write important dates down here in the special dates, holidays and birthdays section as well. And for the lined section over here, I'm still figuring out how I like to use this particular section. So let's get into setting this up. And because it is, uh, you know, December, I am going to decorate it with Christmas themed stickers. So let me find, I want some washi strips to kind of like lay down on the edge here. Mm, hot cocoa weather. That's cute. Ooh, I like these, these stickers here. So how I structure my monthly goals is I have a couple of overall larger topics or themes and then under those themes I have particular goals and I tend to do one to three specific goals um, per topic and some of these goals are um, a little bit more specific and others are a little bit more abstract. And that's just how, you know, I tend to structure my goals. And so how I structure my goals is I have three dissertation chapters or projects that I need to finish in order to graduate. And so I try to make progress for each chapter or each project every single month to push them all closer to being done. And so the first three are my three chapters of my dissertation. And I also have like a larger overall goal of continuing to um, prepare for the job market once I graduate. And so this last one has more to do with post-graduation research and prep work. So I'm going to go ahead and write down the details of each goal that I want to accomplish this month.
awesome. I am pretty much done setting my goals and writing down all the important dates for the month. And actually, while I was writing these down, I realized that there are a couple of things that I need to do or I need to add to this monthly calendar view actually. So let me pull for some more stickers. So I have a deadline on the 16th. I have to turn in a job application. And then on the 29th, I have just like some administrative training that I need to complete. So I'll add those there. And there we have it. Let's see again. I'm not sure exactly what to do with that section there, but I'm just going to leave it blank for now. And if I come up with an idea, I can go ahead and fill it out. But let me just add a couple more poinsettia flowers. Um, maybe like right there. Some berries. There. okay i think that's it for now all right everyone thank you so much for checking out this monthly setup i really needed to do this so i'm glad i went ahead and did it and yeah now i can start setting up my weekly for the following week all right everyone um let me know how you're doing in the comments down below and i'll catch you in my next video bye